Hi there, and today we're looking at some more vintage supplemental sets. So back in August 2020, I did a video about my fairly extensive collection of 1958 supplemental sets, which look like this. They come in these lovely little cases with a slip cover and a tray inside, and the tray tells you what you're buying. So in this case it's 2x4 black bricks, and these slip cases were completely generic and um, black bricks could have uh, any number of different pictures on them, and so there's different sleeves to collect as well. So they were my 1958 sets, and at the time I had one set from 1966, which was a supplemental set, which was this one here. Since then I've got a few others, so I thought I'd take um, you through them and you have a little look. Um, I'll do a link to the um, other video down below and just up here, uh, but for those of you who haven't seen it, this set is just called Road Signs, it's set 432. Um, since the 1958 sets they went away from the slip cover and tray and they went to these standard cardboard boxes that open um, so the box on the outside says what you're getting again 432 with the road signs um, and also on the front you've got the picture as well there you go looks like you've got a price there um, and it also rebranded them to lego the building toy so in this set you've got a selection of road signs I'll just line them up and have a quick look at them all. So first of all these are UK style signs, so if you're from a, uh, one, another country you may not recognise this specific style of sign. So here we go, there's a crossroads sign, and then this is de-restricted, so once you've had a speeding restriction, um, for example down to 30 miles an hour, which the print is slightly off on this one, you can see it's a bit low. Once you've had a, a speed restriction, uh, de-restricted means the national speed limit, so uh, depending on what type of road you are on, up to 70 miles an hour. Then one our US friends would not see very much of at all, a roundabout sign. And then this is no parking. And then this denotes a school, then no entry, and the last one is parking, so a parking area. So that was the set I got within the set 432. If you move those to one side for the moment. Um, so since then I've got another set of 432, but this has got a large number of completely different signs in it. So this isn't a regular set, I can't make up a what would have been in this box from its contents, but I've got a whole number of signs like the ones uh, we've just been through. However, there are two in here which weren't in the sign set, and I can't quite pin down where they would have come from. It may have been one of the old town plan sets. So all these ones you can see, they're ones we've looked at before. There's a couple in here which are a little bit worse for wear, that's been heavily glued on the bottom there. But the two that weren't in the actual set are this one, which is showing there's going to be a bend in the road, and I've got two of those, and also this stop sign. Now you don't actually see that sign in the UK uh, very often at all, I, I can't think of the last time I saw one um, in the UK. So um, within the UK sign set um, that seems a bit strange, so I imagine this was from uh, a European set um, but not the one I've got here, the 432. So there you go, another selection of road signs. So there are my two 432. My original box was um, much better condition. This one is fairly tatty as you can see. It's been well loved over the years. But then moving on to the two new sets I've got, this one is set 433, and this was called Six Street Lamps with Curved Top. So you can pretty much guess what is going to be inside this one. And sure enough, oh, don't want to ruin the box, this box is fairly tatty as well. The outside on the front and sides is okay, but the flap is has seen better days. And sure enough, inside we have got six street lamps and sure enough they do have a curved top. Now um, I'm 
the youngest of several brothers and I know one of my brothers had these as a child because when I adopted his Lego or inherited his Lego as a young boy these were some of these were in there they have all long since been played with and unfortunately broken these were very very fragile you can see how thin that piece of plastic is so they would snap up here up here and especially down at the base so I'm really pleased that I've now got a complete set of them again because um, I remember playing with these or rather a fairly a few broken ones of these as a young boy so there we go set four three three six street lamps and then finally if we move those to one side we have this one which is called gates and fence white so again it's fairly obvious uh, what's in here it's set 494 and you can see the picture on the front and the back are the same and on the ends as well so we'll pop that one open this box really nice on this side bit dented on the other side you can see at some point it's been squashed and one of the fences or gates has tried to exit through the front of the box um, the flaps are fairly good condition the pictures are still good this one's a bit folded you can see a crease down there now I also remember inheriting a lot of these from my elder brothers um, you still get these pieces nowadays in a multitude of colors but I remember when I was little I didn't come in that many colors so there we have all our white fences some a little bit whiter than others some have seen a lot of use and have yellowed over the years that's um, a reaction to the sun I don't know if uh, you know but you can get the whiteness back using a bit of hydro hydrogen peroxide and UV light um, but um, I'm not intending on doing that I'm going to leave these as is so these are the fence pieces it's a four stud long piece and the fence sits in the middle so you've probably seen those in more modern sets but these are the gates that went with them so again they're four studs long this does actually come off which means it can swing quite happily open and shut if, of course if you put two of them together you can have a double gate in a nice long fence so that set was 494 fence and oh gates and fence white um, someone's written 12 on that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 oh, 13 white gates uh, white fences and two gates so I'm not quite sure why they've written 12 and 1 oh 12 and 1 makes, does make 13 um, but don't relate to what was inside it there you go who knows why the previous owner wrote that on it so there you have my small collection of 1966 supplemental sets. So these are 55 years old now, looking pretty good for their age. Um, let me know which one's your favourite. Have you come across any of these or any other of the supplemental sets branded The Building Toy? Um, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more LEGO videos.